Nope. Okay. All right, so now that we know everything there is to know about the features of the radio, ACM, ATPC, management information, IBM, OBM, uh, TLS frequency, ODU power, transmitter on and off, now that we know how the radio works, operates, configures the radio, uh, we're going to come into the IBM config. Now just to recap, IBM, conf IBM is inbound management. There's the ability to manage the radio via a single cable. Single cable is going to carry your management traffic and your using traffic. Okay. Out of band management, OBM. Single cable dedicated for management traffic only. When you set OBM, you must use another port for user traffic. Pros and, pros and cons. IBM, one plus all link, that's fine. If you want to go across the link, you can use IBM. If you use OBM, you must go across the link to your switch back to your radio base. So, if you don't have a back door back to the tower site, IBM on a 1 plus 0 link may be the way to go. When you want to use more than a 1 plus 0 system, by that meaning a 1 plus 1, 2 plus 0, PLA, XFIG, you must use out of band management at that point. Okay? IBM configuration. Also, if you're going to set VLANs, right, you have to use. Uh... Yeah, so on the Orion and links, Independent of the management interface, it's an IBM or OBM, on your traffic port, you must set up your VLANs traffic specific. And by that I mean, for example, on the Apex, in the Apex series on GE2 will be the first thing, make it a trunk port so everything can pass, or if you know your customer only has three VLANs, send three VLANs across. If you don't have to send across, more efficiency on the link as well for traffic management. Is there support for Q and Q? Uh, it's passed natively unless you change the uh, DSCP type of priority tag. So it will, it will go across the same way as your uh, network. But for ACM purposes, you can actually set the uh, weight or round robin on that as well. And that's that's in the radio. I have a how-to guide because that will take me more than yeah. half a day that's to fine. really cover a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Q&Q &Q goes around as you set up. I mean, that's a uh, transparent bridge. The only thing is the tag won't be able to go across. IBM configuration to the web interface. So we said before, IBM management can be enabled from the web interface and from the CLI. Management configuration. First, enable or disable IBM. Select your management port. Enable VLAN tagging and assign the VLAN ID. Now, um, this here, we have, first of all, IBM on, right? But IBM tagging is off. So that means IBM is going to work without a VLAN tag. If we want to enable IBM with a VLAN tagging, the steps we need to do is first <coughs> set up our VLAN ID. That's the first thing. After we set up our VLAN ID for management, we can enable the IBM VLAN tagging. Once we enable that, we must have a VLAN tag port to actually access the management of the radio. For all those Mac users out there, a little tip and trick. There is, uh, on your actual USB adapter, Thunderbolt adapter, you can set up a VLAN tag port. So you don't need a switch to go to the actual radio. You can just do that and it's really handy. Honestly, I do a lot of testing with it. So go into your interfaces, add a VLAN, and then you will be a tag port from your network card. For the Microsoft guys, there has to be a special uh, software for, I think there's Intel. Uh, allows you to do it. I think there's uh, a little plugin that you download and it will let you VLAN tag your Ethernet port as well. So, again, before you enable IBM tagging, you need to set your VLAN ID and then enable your VLAN tag. IBM configuration from the CLI, IBM enable on, and then here as well, the first command is going to be IBM VLAN tagging, sorry, VLAN ID. You set your VLAN ID and then you enable the tagging. Shouldn't that be in a different word around there? Keep it on the toes. Keep it on the toes. Yeah. I'm gonna change it. Depends on when you put, click apply, right? <laughs> yeah. So but on the VLAN ID, for example, on the config save, if you add the VLAN ID basically, nothing's gonna happen because you have not enabled the tagging. So unless you do the actual tagging first, you're gonna get locked out. 
So this is just a uh, sample of one of our uh, configs that we have for uh, the Triangle electron ports. Um, on the Cisco switch, I have this. So I got my description, my encapsulation one q my trunk with a native VLAN 300, which is my management VLAN. And then I'm allowing this to go over the actual port that I'm using. So these VLANs have to be declared as well on the traffic port for me. So 200 is the uh, counting, 300 is engineering, 500 is internet, 550 ISP, 600 is engineering lab for us. Switch promote trunk, so we make it a trunk, so anything else goes across. Uh, <coughs> and I have span entry cost. Now my span entry in this case, I use it for switching traffic around the network. Uh, if one link goes down by any reason and I can shut it down, my span is going to kick in and it's going to forward traffic to the lowest cost value. So just how, a general setup of how it's supposed to be. So you have your computer here, uh, brand new iMac by the way. Then you go <laughs> into the switch and on port number 8 is going to be our access port with the VLAN ID of 5. And then port 7 is configured to be the trunk to allow the on 5 management. Uh, from there you go to the actual PoE port. So the PoE is plugged into number 7 and then you access the computer via the switch via the 8 port here, the access port. Now on the APEX, we have IBM configured to this IP with a VLAN tag and a VLAN ID 5. So the VLAN that is tagged here on the switch must match the same on the, on the radio. Some triangle products do not allow to use IBM without a VLAN tagging. This is getting a little outdated because the only products that did that before was um, APEX Plus Hardware ID 1 does not allow you to use IBM without a VLAN. And the other one is a Sparta Elite. So Sparta Elite is a product that is physical encryption. So that product does not allow IBM without a tag. Besides that, everything is fine. Questions on IBM?